Today on Hosh's Kitchen, we're making a tasty Elvis-style dog treat. And I know it's tasty because I've actually eaten them. It's super simple. We're making it in the air fryer, and it's only four ingredients. We don't currently have a dog, but we've become aunt and uncle to the neighbor's dog, Mel. Mel is a black pit bull mix. She's an absolute sweetheart. And we call her Smelly Melly because if she's inside or outside, she's got to smell everything. And a little over a year ago, Mel started coming over and she just started, she would leave the neighbor's house, we share a backyard, she'd come running right up the back stairs to come and say hi. So she'd come over, we wanted to give her a treat. So I went to the store and I looked at some organic, really good quality treats and that's what we've been giving her when she comes over. But recently I thought I want to give her something special. So I was doing a little bit of brainstorming and a little bit of research and I thought, well, why can't I make a, a really good dog treat in the air fryer? So that's what we're going to do and I'm going to introduce you to Mel at the end of this video. We call this Elvis style dog treats. Now what was Elvis's favorite sandwich? It was fried peanut butter, banana, and bacon. So here's what you're gonna need for the Elvis style dog treats. You're gonna need a quarter cup of peanut butter. We're using Smucker's natural creamy peanut butter. You're gonna need one strip of cooked bacon. We've got thick cut bacon here. You're gonna need half of a banana and three quarters of a cup of dried oats. We've just got regular old fashioned oats here. So those are the food part of the treat. Uh, you're also going to need a bowl and a fork to mix everything together. You're going to need some wax paper, or if you have a sill pad, use that, because we're going to shape these and put them on there. You don't want something that's going to stick to. Uh, you're going to need a tablespoon to measure things out. You're going to need a blender to blend some things together, and you're going to need an air fryer. The first step is we're going to add the oats and the pre-cooked bacon slice to the blender and we're going to blend it on medium for about 10 seconds till it's all a nice fine powder. The second step is to add the half of a banana and the quarter cup of peanut butter to a bowl like this. Then take a fork and mash it all together till it's all mixed up really, really good. The third step, now we've got our but half of a banana and the peanut butter mixed really well. We're going to add the blended oats and the strip of bacon to the peanut butter and uh, banana and we're going to mix this till it's all mixed up really well. So everything's mixed together now really well. It should look about like this. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to put a piece of wax paper down or a sill pad if you have one on the counter. You're going to grab a tablespoon and you're going to measure out a level tablespoon of the mixture. Grab it with your hand and then you're going to roll it into a ball and put it right on the wax paper. And you're going to keep doing that and you should wind up with about 12 balls when all said and done. So now here's step five. Now we have all 12 of the tablespoon um, shaped balls of the dog treat and now you're going to use your hand and press them down into about two inch circles just like this. So here's the next step. Take out the basket of your air fryer, take a little bit of cooking spray. You're going to spray the bottom of it so they don't stick. Then you're going to take your flattened out dog biscuits and add them to the air fryer just like this. So we've got all the treats in the air fryer basket. Now I did not preheat the air fryer. We're going to cook them for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. The timer just went off on the air fryer. It's been 10 minutes. Let's take a look at our dog treats. They are perfect golden brown. They are hot. And now we're going to take them out of the air fryer and we're going to set them on a cooling rack to cool off. So the dog treats have been sitting on a cooling rack for a while. They're nice and cool. Now you can store them in a Tupperware container or a Ziploc baggie or whatever you have handy. And in just a minute, we're going to bring Mel over and we're going to show you how these dog treats, these Elvis peanut butter, bacon, and banana dog treats are Mel approved. Hey everyone, meet Mel. She's an absolute sweetheart. And our neighbor Luke asked us to dog sit tonight, so we're going to have her for a while. And now we're going to see how Mel likes these Elvis-style dog treats. You ready for a treat, Mel? Okay. Sit. 
How about a high five for a dog treat? And they are Mel approved. So if you like this video, Mel has a big favor to ask of you. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you're on Instagram, make sure to tag Hoss's Kitchen. From Hoss's Kitchen and from me and Mel, we'll talk to you later.